Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ashy Lipped Ellery here. Oh, here's the exit. They actually have a Porsche Avenue off the freeway. I was today years old. I'm going to um, the service center by the airport that I didn't know existed, even though everything's working fine, because that's always what happens when you have issues. When you go to take it in, everything's working fine, but I'm gonna have them like reset my PCM. My, uh, I think it stands for like Porsche Community. I don't even know, but I'm gonna have them reset it because as I've said before, it's been very ghetto since I got the car, like as far as it working and not working. So that's what I'm doing today. I didn't cancel this appointment so many times, but I had a free morning. So I finally made it. I'm very tired. Last night, I kind of went a little too far for a Wednesday. I was supposed to go watch the game, but it ended up getting late. And the, of course, the only thing that was open was a Mexican restaurant and since they know me up in there they be like really making them drinks very stronger than Gorilla Glue so and she had the nerve to even add a shot <laughs> at the very end I was just like ah, you guys just never want me to have a regular night then I ended up getting in the pool with my clothes on it just got real ragey for a Wednesday it got blurry at the end Anyways, dang, they have like a whole compound out here. Like this whole street is Porsche, 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 Porsche. It's like their own little community. I don't think this is gonna take long. So I'm gonna have them do this and then I'm gonna go home and I think I'm gonna go back to sleep. I am tired. I still have to wake up hella early to take Yoshi to school and I finished my work yesterday. So only thing that I've been doing is still trying to figure out that Amazon stuff for Stilo and looking up houses for my birthday next year. Like those are my my to-dos for today. Well, Porsche had to Uber me home because they said it takes at least a day to do a diagnostics. Why is it so complicated? I don't know. So they gave me an Uber home. I don't have my Tesla right now, so I'm just using it. So I have no car, but it's fine because it's, you know, it's just a Thursday. If it was Friday, your girl would be frantic, but it's a Thursday, so we're good. We took off our nails. They hurt because I took them off the lazy way. And I'm about to make a delicious dinner. It is the do too much dinner that I talked about in last video. I'm about to make it today because I've actually had this. This is the last day I can go without making this salmon and eating this crab meat. And we didn't spend $50 on this to not eat. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make it just in case it's successful because I got this recipe from this guy on Instagram. He just used salmon, but I'm gonna put it over some pasta noodles because because I'm really hungry right now. So I'm being greedy, even though I ate like twice today, which is not normal for me. This is a guy, it's called One Stop Chop. With this salmon. Let him plate some good, small right? rice, some mashed potatoes, or That's even good, some pasta. Right? Look, this dish was a truth. He said it was a truth, so I'm trying it. I mean, I don't have everything he has, but I'm doing my own little unique way. I'm already starting off bad because I don't have any avocado oil, so we're just gonna have to use butter. But let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is chop up my chops. I need parsley, garlic. I really wanna put spinach in it, but I only have frozen spinach, and then I have this. So I'm gonna try to pick out some spinach leaves out of this and chop those up because I kind of want that that greenery in there. Let me chop this stuff up first. All right, we got the spinach chopped up, the parsley and the garlic chopped up. We got our salmon right here and we're about to season her. I had to grab the vegetable oil because ain't got no avocado oil. We got onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, paprika, obey, lemon pepper and orange pepper. So I'm about to season her up real, real good. Sometimes I even use mustard, but today I'm just gonna stick with the oil. All right, those are seasoned very nicely. And we got our oil heating up right here. I also started some water for the pasta noodles. And he said to sear it on both sides. I did keep the skin on because he had the skin on his and I'm trying to do it exactly how he did it. He said to sear it on both sides for four minutes each. So I'm gonna start with the skinless side, sear it on that side first, and then I'm gonna flip it because when it's on the other side, the side that it's on like right now, I'm gonna add the butter. All right, it's 9.17, I'm really gonna do it for four minutes too. Ooh, I need a bra on. don't look at me.
Okay, I was on the phone, so I couldn't talk y'all through it, but y'all saw what I was doing. I had the butter in it, I was basting my salmon and whatnot. I just took them off and put them on some foil. I about to put my pasta noodles in and start my Cajun sauce. That's what he calls it, something like that. Tuscan Cajun, my Tuscan. And it has sun dried tomatoes. I ain't got that either, but I do got a can of tomatoes. I'm gonna chop me up some onion real quick. Now I'm gonna open my little mini can of tomatoes and drain all the sauce and then add that. I need to hurry up. Bear with me, y'all. Parsley at the same time. He added veggie broth, but I'ma add, I don't have none, so I'ma just do chicken stock. I'm gonna add some heavy cream. So after this starts boiling a little bit, I'm gonna add the Parmesan, the spinach, and the crab meat. Cause the crab meat doesn't really need to be cooked. It says it's ready to eat. We're like almost done. This is kind of pretty easier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I also, I also gotta season this stuff. So I'm gonna use pretty much the same seasonings that I used on the salmon. But instead of the Old Bay, I'm gonna use the Cajun seasoning. Now I'm gonna add the Parmesan. the spinach, the noodles are done. I'm actually gonna add the noodles to the sauce. I know he didn't do it like a pasta, he just had the salmon, but he did suggest like rice noodles or I think he said mashed potatoes. But I like my noodles mixed into my sauce because I like my stuff saucy. I like my noodles to taste like the sauce. So I'm gonna open my crab meat now. It says ready to eat, let me taste them. Mm. It's ready to eat all right. Tastes good. No crab pieces left behind. It's already starting to get a little creamy. We love that. All right, we're gonna let that cook for just a bit. I put my salmon and it's like staying warm in the oven. I just added some total seasoning to it. I added this to everything. I forgot to do it earlier, but I just added some. This is what it looks like. I'm about to taste a little bit. I'm not even lying. Oh, I'm so mad, yo, she's not here. I was supposed to make this Wednesday before she left and she's not here, bro. This is one of those times where I know she would be like, this is the best thing you ever made. That sauce tastes fire. Okay, let me add the noodles to this right quick because now I'm getting excited. So I didn't cook as many pasta noodles as I normally would because I wanted it to be more sauce than noodles since it's gonna be a big piece of salmon on it. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm about to plate it so you can see what I'm hitting for, bro. What I'm hitting for. It's so crazy how I went from like not wanting to cook. I got the reputation that I couldn't cook because you know I made a couple mistakes in the past. Um, couple small friendly fires, couple bad decisions, but now I can cook. Like I'm getting so good. Like <laughs> okay, okay, let me play this. I'm Garden Who? Okay, like <laughs> Optimus where? Okay. <laughs> Italy, spittily, because baby, <laughs> she's looking like a professional chef. Chef boy R.E. I mean, stop playing with me, bro. Like, I do this, like, I'm fully domesticated. I cook, I clean, I put it down. Like, stop playing with me. So, I'm about to put on a good show, eat good. <laughs> And um, it's the pre-can, you know, Thursday's the pre-can. And it's only 10 o'clock, you know, the night is young. And I brought y'all along. So now y'all know what I did, do that. I did it right, I got it done. If you wanna try it, do that. Cause it isn't a little expensive meal, but I'm about to grub. Good night. Good morning and happy Friday. It's pretty early, it's 9.30, but um, my lash girl is coming to lash me because you see I'm baldy McScaldy. Bald I did. So about to get my lashes done and take a little nap. I didn't sleep the greatest. I slept but I just I've been feeling like restless so usually when I get my lashes done it's just extra rest. After that I'm not really sure what's going on today but I do know I want to get out the house because I've been inside all week. Well kind of that's kind of not true but it's Friday, I wanna get out the house. I wanna have a cocktail, I wanna sit outside. I wanna maybe, uh, I don't know, 
Here a little tune. Also supposed to have somebody come by and give me a quote to power wash my deck. Cause I haven't had that done on here and it's pretty dirty. Gonna figure out today, obviously tomorrow's Callie's birthday. Um, and it's gonna be very hot this weekend. So guess I gotta shave my legs. All right, y'all, I know I look like earlier, but I'm about to re-shower. I actually took a shower this morning before I got my lashes done, but I've been outside because power wash people came and I was out there. And once you walk outside, you're sweating. Like butt crack, titty, pit. Bonnet line, everything was sweating. So I'm about to take another shower. I cleaned my kitchen and now I'm gonna clean my body. I have to do my hair. I have like literally less than a, maybe an hour to get ready. Going to um, get some pizza, going to Anacos. I'm gonna be in, or near the battery cop area. So there's gonna be stuff to do over there. So, I mean, I, I, listen, I never have plans, but the plans have me, you know what I'm saying? So I just glued on some press-ons. These are like one of the popular sets from Salon Perfect because I've seen a couple of people make videos putting these on. Threw these on because I had to take them other ones off and I did not feel like doing a whole set. So um, now I just gotta figure out my hair because I gotta do my hair quick and it's hard for me to do my hair quick because usually it takes an hour and a half because I'm so intricate but now I gotta rush. But cheers, yeah, happy Friday. Get some drinking Blanco. Good morning. I look kind of cute today, besides this little bandana right here. But today's Fat Fat's birthday party. Yesterday was fun. Ended up partying with my Mexican fam. And now I'm about to go pick up my car from the service center finally and head to my sister's. Elsa is home. Just got in my car. It took forever. I don't know why, because it was already done. They even washed her, which I'm very happy about because she was a dirty girl. And now she's a clean girl. And I love that. I am. At this point, almost two hours late to my Fat Fat's birthday party. I don't love that because I don't like being late, especially to birthdays. I didn't get to wrap her present because the box was too big and it would have took like a whole roll of wrapping paper. So I'm coming in a bit ghetto, late and unwrapped, but I'm gonna be there. That's, that's, that's the important part. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm tired per usual. Just packed Yoshi, Yoshi's lunch, waiting for her to come downstairs. Today's actually Tuesday. <laughs> Callie's party was Saturday, and I didn't vlog after that because a lot of stuff happened after that party. I was like physically, mentally drained. I, I We can turn to shit after that. I can't share what happened, unfortunately, but I had to take a little break. So it's been rainy and stormy outside. It stormed last night and it looks like it's still wet outside. I just had to talk her out of wearing a fuzzy sweater, which I know she's still gonna have on. The compromise was have a t-shirt under it because regardless you're staying inside school all day, when I come pick you up, you have to wait outside and you have a whole bare coat on. You gonna have people looking at me crazy, so. That's our morning struggle every morning because she dresses like it's winter time. But anyway, oh yes, and an update. Because when y'all, when I ask y'all questions about fibroids and the issues and blah, 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 I be reading all them comments and y'all have been really, really helpful as far as giving me some advice on like changing my diet and taking certain supplements. So one of the supplements that I saw that I got from Amazon was called Soursop. So I got like three different things. I got these Sour Stop pills, organic, easy to take. They tell you to take four a day. I felt like that's excessive. So I started taking two a day. Then I got some Sour Stop tea, which I have not tried yet. I might try some of that when I get up because I'm going back to sleep when I drop her off because I need one more hour. This I took last night. It literally has all the things on the bottle that it helps with and fibroids is one of those amongst hella other Stuff. When I tell you I thought I was gonna throw up last night, it was so disgusting. I was trying to drink pickle juice. I was trying to drink fruit juice. I, I could not get the taste out of my mouth. Like I had to stop watching TV and go upstairs, thoroughly brush my teeth, let mouthwash sit in it because it's so gross and it sits there that you, you, you can't un- taste it. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that every day, but I have to because I wanna be consistent with it for at least 
a couple months. That way when I go back to the doctor and you know, they check again, I could see if it, you know, there's been any changes. Like if they shrunk or anything like that. Right now I know there's not, not been any changes, even though I've been taking the pills for like two weeks because I'm still bleeding every morning. You heard it right, every morning, cramps and bleeding. Then it stops during the day and at night, then I wake up again and it's bad. It's like my little morning nightmare. So yeah, Wednesday, I think, Za, we're gonna try to go to your sister's football game. We cannot go to her sister's football game. Oh my God, like, what the hell? I forgot she has acting class after school. I kind of even promised her sister that we would go. That really, really sucks. Life be life in I think the trick I need to do is just find a cuter bonnet than this. It's not that this bonnet isn't cute, it's just screams bonnet. I need something that like, maybe a satin floral, and it just kind of hangs a little looser, so it's not so shower cappy, because I look crazy. This is the sweater I was talking about, y'all. Like, why? Why? The weather app said that it was gonna be thunderstorm. She, I, since when are you in whole school? Seventh grade to be exact, and you think rain means cold. 60% chance of The temperature and rain are two completely different things. It could rain at 100 degrees. That doesn't make you not 100 degrees. It's hot rain. 3 p.m. says 87 degrees. That's not that hot. 87 is three degrees from 90, Zara. And it's humid. Like, come on, you gotta you gotta make more sense than this. Y'all need a weather class or something, because this is ridiculous. It's not science. We'll, we'll ask some science questions because what are you guys discussing in there? That 87 is cold. <sighs> Calm down, it's too early in the morning. All right, I took a nap, AKA a slumber, because I'm just not making something to eat and it's 12. I made me a, is this a BLT? No, this is a T B E B E T. This is a B E T. Egg, bacon, tomato. I was gonna put avocado in it, but I only have one avocado left and I wanna save that. I just bought us some movie tickets. Like I said, we were supposed to go to the game tomorrow to see your sister, but now it's kinda like, I wanted to do something with her this week. So we're gonna go see Strays and have a little movie day. She did not take the sweater off. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Looking like- It wasn't even that hot for real. Mm -hmm. You still look crazy. How was school? It was, it was cute. Anything interesting happen? Uh, well, this one lady, uh, she's like, she wants my other school, but I didn't have any like classes with her, and if I did, I don't remember her. Anyways, so we're gonna call her Mrs. Potato Head. So basically, Mrs. Potato Head, um, popped me in my makeup in fifth period, and I'm like, oh, what did you use to do your um your eyeliner, your highlighter, or whatever? And I was like, oh, it's like some sort of that black eyeshadow. And she's like, oh, it looks good. I was like, thank you. And then the next, the very next period, um, I'm trying to remember how it happened. I had wrote something on one of my friend's notebook, like saying hi. And then she was like, stop writing on her notebook. And then, um, and then, um I was like, bro, what? And then I was like, ooh, ooh, look what she wrote. Ooh, ooh. And I was like, bro, mind your business. And I'm like, why aren't you in your seat? Because why are you out of your seat? And he's like, I'm like, mind your own business. And then she, apparently she had told one of my other friends that, oh, I'm going to fight her at the bus loop. I don't even ride the bus. That story was so confusing, bro. I don't even like, <laughs> know how to respond. <laughs> Anyways. You don't care? That's why I said Girl, I don't even know me. what, how, I don't even know. I'm, I'm confused. She said she was going to fight me on the bus loop. Confusion. I don't, I thought you were talking about a teacher at first, then a student, then somebody well, else, then me. writing on a book, then bus loop. I don't know what's going on in this story. As long as everything's all good, you ain't got no problems, ain't nobody seriously threatening you to where I got to get involved. Do you, were you, did you feel threatened? Not really. She's annoying though. She always attracts. She's like, she, whenever the class is talking, she's like, I shh! Like, girl. You know, people take too much of your energy. P annoying people, let the teacher deal with the annoying people. You gotta learn how to how to quiet the noise around you. Because it's always gonna be noise. Learn how to tune it out now, and you'll live a much simpler life. I don't even, I'd rather move somewhere else than let somebody take my energy. Anyways, we're going to Publix because you need some more salami and fruit for your lunch. And then we gotta drop it off at home, and then we'll go to the movies. Drop who off? Drop the food off. Oh. Why am I so irritable right now? Like, is it you? 
Am I on the wrong? I don't think I'm on the wrong. Mm -hmm. Debatable. Fat Fat. Okay. How was school? Good. I just took like this for school. You just took your what? I dressed up like this for school. Oh, you got some drip on in school today? Yeah. It's not, it's not easy being you, huh? Because you're so drippy. Do you know what movie we're going to see? Yes. What? I don't know the name of it, but... Are you sleepy? I just know that it was like dogs. How did you know that that's what we were going to see? Mm. Are you sleepy? No. You sound tired or something. You okay? Yeah. She doesn't sound her usual self. She usually comes in hot. She came in kind of cold. Moments later. Look like I was right about my child. I know when my kids ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I know when they're sick. I know when they're sad. I know when they're tired. I know when they're angry, irritable. I know everything. I knew she was tired. And I knew she was tired. They both sleep. We're about to pull up the movie and sit in the dark for an hour and a half. So am I wasting my money? I guess it's too late now. So the worst auntie of the week award goes to Strays is not a kid's movie. You guys probably already knew that and I was probably the only one oblivious to that because I'm thinking a movie with a bunch of puppies is a kid's movie. And um, it's rated R, didn't pay attention to that. The previews kind of gave it away. Like the previews before the movie came on, I was like, why are they showing all these inappropriate previews? Like, and I'm not even exaggerating. Like one of the previews was like, my cock is so big, my dick. Like, I was like, why are they playing this preview like this before a kid's movie? It was like three movies that previewed before the movie actually started. And I swear I've I heard C O C K D I C K F U C K Mother F U C K like it was excessive and I was like get to the movie get to the movie but this is odd this is odd why would they be playing inappropriate previews like this <sighs> the first three minutes in the movie homie is whacking off that's when I start to pack up my things because I'm like I'm I'm traumatizing Callie at this point Zara's over there popping popcorn like she's just I watch things like this all the time. Do you? If I had a dollar for every time they said F-U-C-K, I would've got my money back for how much I spent on these tickets and this popcorn and, these, and this candy. In the first five minutes, they it, it was obnoxiously inappropriate. So we left after like five minutes. Callie was crying, but she was grumpy the whole time. She was tired. And um, now we're home, I'm about to make dinner. I'm kind of tired, I don't want to make dinner. Actually, I'm gonna ask Zara if she even wants dinner because she just ate a whole bushel of popcorn and she said her stomach hurt. So I don't want to make this, this scrumptious cabbage and then she's like, I'm not hungry, I'll have a little bit. I don't know, today is kind of a bust. It is what it is. Good morning, good morning. This is my replacement bonnet for today. Instead of doing a bonnet, I'm doing a hood. The bonnet was better. Now you look homeless. Now I look homeless. So before I looked what? Ghetto? You looked like a black ball dropping off a kid in school. <sighs> Can't win. I do know I'm hot though. But I got this air crank. Can't be hotter than you though. She has on whole pleather leggings and boots with that. So we're not gonna go through that this morning. We already talked about that yesterday. Anyways, last night. We both were kind of full on popcorn, so she took a shower. We had a nice little mommy-daughter talk, and then both took it down. Today after school, we're gonna get her some elotes. That's what that's called? In Spanish. Um, I hope I said that right. Corn, she makes some street corn. And um, my aunt picks her just to go to acting class after that. So I have a lot of work to do today. I'm gonna have one of those, I need coffee type of days, but I'm not gonna make coffee. I'm trying to avoid caffeine as much as I can. I'm gonna go grocery shopping this week and try to get more veggies and plants and fish. And I'm trying to really take this new diet lifestyle seriously. I'm not even gonna buy anything that is not conducive to fruit and vegetable base, so. And I also bought some black seed oil pills. I'm just gonna try to get all herbalized. That's my goal for the next, for at least through the end of the year, so that when I go back to do my checkup, I know that I was consistent 
You know what I'm saying? Hope you have a great day. Thank you. Took it easy on the makeup today, huh? Just highlight her nose and mascara. Surprise, surprise. Normally she's has some type of color or something that I'm like, at least she did it good. Don't take it no further than you have lately. Got it? Mm -hmm. Got right. it. Get it, got it good. That's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Love ya.